Hi, Assalamualaikum. Uh, how are you today? So glad to see you again. Uh, today we are going to discuss a new topic, which is chapter eight, the respiratory system in humans and animals. So today's subtopic is eight point one, which is type of respiratory system. In previous chapter, we have discussed details about the internal respiratory, right? So today we are going to discuss more details about the external respiratory system. So without wasting our time, let's we proceed. So here are the learning standard for this subtopic, which is the first one is to identify the respiratory structures in insect, fish, amphibian, and human. Next is to describe the adaptations of respiratory structures and their functions for gases exchange in animals and humans. Last but not least is to compare and contrast the respiratory structures in humans and animals. So what is respiratory structure? The structure that uh, enables the gases exchange to occur between the cells and their outer environment. As we have learned before, the unicellular organisms such as amoeba do not need special structure because it has a large ratio total surface area to volume, which is the gases exchange can occur through diffusion. So in this topic, we will discuss which is the ratio of total surface area to volume, which is TSA per V, depends on the size of the organism. The bigger the size of organism, the smaller the ratio of total surface area to volume. So, this explains why large and complex organisms cannot maintain gases exchange by diffusion through body surface only. So, that's why the large organism will need or require a special respiratory structure for the efficient exchange of gases. So now let's we discuss about the adaptation in the respiratory structure. There are four common adaptive characteristics in the respiratory structures, which is the first one is have a large ratio of total surface area to volume for the efficient exchange respiratory gases. Second one have a thin respiratory structure, which is only one cell thick for easily diffusion of gases. The respiratory surface is moist, which is to enable the gas easily dissolve. And last one is to have a network of blood capillary, except insect, to transport gas. Now, let me discuss about the insect respiratory structures and its adaptation. The respiratory system in insect consists of tracheal system. It consists of trachea, tracheal, spiracle, and air sac. So here you can see, which is, here is the tracheals, this is the spiracles, the opening pores here, this is trachea, yes, okay, now let's we proceed. Here are the name structure and the functions for the insect. Tracheal have moist or thin permeable walls which is allow the oxygen diffuse into the cells and carbon dioxide will expel diffuse out into the tracheals. Tracheals also have a large number which is this large number will help to increase or have a large total surface area for the gases exchange. Spiracle which is a small pores in the thorax of the abdomen allow the intake of air into the air tube system. Air sac will fill with air with uh, which uh, helps to speed up delivery of respiratory gas during active movement. Next, we are going to discuss about the fish respiratory structure and its adaptation. Respiratory structure consists of gills, which is the bony fish have four pairs of gills. It is protected by operculum and each gill composed of filament, gill arc and lamella. So here are some figures to show you what is gill filament, gill wrecker, which is the gill arc is here, and this is here the lamella. Now we are discussing about the structure and the functions of the fish respiratory system. Filaments have thin and flat projection, which is called lamella. 
to increase the total surface area for efficient gases exchange. Next is the filament have thin wall for easy absorption of gas. And last one, filament have many blood capillaries, which is uh, easy absorption and transports of the respiratory gases, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Next, we are going to discuss about the respiratory structures and the adaptation in amphibian. Example is toad, frog and newts. They change the changes of gases in two different ways, which is uh, through the skin during inactive state or by using lungs. So, the structure and functions of the amphibian respiratory structure is the moist skin is thin, which is highly permeable to the respiratory gases. The skin also well supplied with the blood capillaries to transport respiratory gases. The last one is the skin have a moist, which is allow the respiratory gases to dissolve in it. This is lung, which is the lungs also one of the uh, structure that helps in the, the amphibians in the respiratory system. The lungs have a folded surface in lungs, which is to increase the total surface area to volume for exchange gases. Lungs also have a membrane which are thin to ease the diffusion of respiratory gases. Lungs uh, membranes are moist, which is uh, enables the respiratory gases to dissolve. And last one is the lungs also supply with weak, a rich network of black capillaries to transport respiratory gases. Now we are discussing about the human respiratory structure and its adaptation. In human respiratory, which is we use the structure is called alveolus. Alveoli or alveolus have a large total surface area for the gases exchange. Next one is the alveolus wall is a moist, which is to allow respiratory gases dissolve easily. Alveoli also surrounded a large network of blood cap capillary to hasten or to fasten the diffusion respiratory of gases. And last one is the alveoli also have wa wall which is only one cell thick for the diffusion of gases much easier. This is the comparison and the contrast of the respiratory structures in humans and animals. So now we are discussing about the similarities between all the structures. All the structures have a large total surface area to volume for efficient exchange respiratory gases, have more structure for dissolving gases, have thin structure for diffusion gases to become faster, and have complete liquid blood of capillary except insects. And last one is we are going to discuss about the differences between the respiratory structure in humans and animals. Here are the summarized the characteristic which is the respiratory structure in insect will use the tracheal, fish will using the filaments and lamella, frogs will using the uh, skin and lungs, meanwhile for human it will use the alveolus. And the adaptation to achieve a large total surface area to help in the gases action is in insect it have a large number of tracheal fish have a large number of filament and lamellae, lamellae and the frog have a surface in lungs is folded and uh, have overall skin surface and last one human have a large number of alveoli and that's all for today we have reached at the end of this topic thank you for watching i hope you can understand so please prepare for the 8.2 subtopic which is the mechanism of breathing hope to see you again thank you very much have a nice day